Welcome to the Style That Binds Us YouTube channel. I was reading this morning in Women's Wear Daily about one of the interesting things to come out of the global pandemic is more people will be working from home permanently. If not permanently, for sure until the end of this year, they will be at the very best scattered. You know, some people come in on this day and then the next day the other group comes in. So there's never as many people as there were before. And also the idea of open offices, you know, open floor plan where everyone is sitting at desks in a big open area. That's, that was a big new thing. And that is not going to be a big new thing anymore. It's all about keeping people separate, especially while we don't have a vaccine. So the work from home, Zoom call meetings and things like that are going to continue. And um, it's very interesting, all of the things that people are coming up with now, the different backgrounds they're, they're talking about using and things like that. And for, for my part, I definitely am interested in what's going on in the background. I'm interested in how the lighting works for when it hits your face. We did um, a Style That Binds Us show episode on YouTube where I covered a couple of things there. And then I think I did an IGTV video maybe about tops to wear for work from home. So as we all know, it's from here up. The only exception is if you are going to be getting up and getting things and coming back. Because if you are professionally dressed from here up and then you've got on your you know, Winnie the Pooh pajama bottoms and you get up to go get a pen or something that you're going to need for your meeting and everybody sees the pajamas or the blue jean cutoffs, you know, that kind of ruins the whole mood of the meeting. And it's, you know, it's just not professional. So anyway, I was reading something um, and I can't remember where I read it, but a judge was talking about how shocked he has been on Zoom calls when his lawyers come to, there's there's something that they have to do, like when they come to file a brief or something, that's what it was. He said, these lawyers are coming virtually to file their briefs, and he said, I didn't mean come file in your briefs. He was really not impressed at all by how casual people were, were, were dressing. So you really still need to have respect for the job, and it's the Wild West, it's a whole new world. But what I do know is that lighting is important and I know that this is important and it can be distracting, it can be uplifting, it can be polished, it can be understated and you have to figure out what the meeting is about. Obviously if it's going to be a very somber or very serious meeting then you want to be understated and very polished. The main thing is anything that is that is standing out in your person can be a distraction. So that's the way you think about it when you get dressed for whatever meeting it is you're going to have. Okay, so we know that people are now going on dates from home, which is very interesting. We know people that we've even seen people attending weddings, you know, in a big group Zoom call. I've attended a funeral which was very sad, you know, that we couldn't all be there together, but it was the next best thing. Um, graduation party, all of these different things are happening in these Zoom calls. Delia even went on a virtual, uh, to a virtual gala <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, which was really crazy, but um, really brilliant too. It made a lot of money for the organization, I think. Hats off to, to Larry Melstein. But anyway, Today we're going to talk about jewelry. So once you've got the top, we have a blog post where we have a whole shopping section of examples of what to wear. You know, it's hard for me to put together these shopping lookbooks because I'm thinking of people my age, I'm thinking of people day is age, I'm thinking of dates, I'm thinking of work, I'm thinking of lawyers and um, creative types and designers and so many different things. So not, not every single thing is going to be right for you but it's to spark your creativity and maybe if you see something, one or two things, you know, we tried to keep the price down so you can order them and, you, you know, you, it's almost like you have this little, it's kind of like, you know, it's almost like you're an on-air personality. You have your, your Zoom wardrobe and you just swap out the tops and things. But I wanted to talk about jewelry because jewelry can be a, a very big distraction 
depending on what the subject matter is for the Zoom call, or it can be something uplifting, like I said before, show that you're creative, whatever it is. So this is where you can have some fun, but you need to choose wisely. For example, this is a fabulous earring. I'm obsessed with this earring. It is a true statement piece, and it is by Mercedes Salazar, right? It's so fabulous. And, and look, I'm just wearing a white shirt. You put this on, <laughs> fabulous. Is it good if you are a banker at a, at a meeting? No. No, definitely not. It would be totally distracting and unprofessional. But if you're going to a birthday party on Zoom or you're going on a date, this is a really fun earring, right? Yes. And how easy to get dressed. A simple top, a statement earring, and it's all about this going on right in here. So this, so statement earrings are a plus for celebrations on Zoom. They are a no-no for, for professional meetings. All right, this is another example. This is Sylvia Toledano, and it is a really fun earring. The good thing about these is some of these uh, statement earrings are heavy enough I don't get the ones that are too heavy, but they're heavy enough that you have, it's not a pierced ear. And you know, after a couple hours, your ears get tired of having these things tugging on. But for a Zoom party, they don't last more than one or two hours anyway. So you can do your biggest, most exciting and you know, fun earrings and not worry about losing one or uh, your ears killing you afterwards. Business meeting? No, BB. No, 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 no. This is a fun, fun, more casual, or if you're going to something that is more like a cocktail party, let's say people, you know, it's, it is a wedding celebration or something like that, or anniversary party, this is a really pretty earring. You know, if you can't see the whole dress, if you had like on a pink silk dress and it was beautiful color, but not much going on, you add something like this and then you've really created a standout look. So, um, someone commented to me after they watched the work from home IGTV video, maybe, that I'd made that they had really taken my tips to heart, stepped up the game, and people kept telling them how great they were looking during quarantine. <laughs> so, it sends a message to people that you're doing fine. You got it going on. You're in control. They can count on you. Um, okay, now some other pieces that I have here. You know, it's, it's it, it doesn't have to be 14 karat gold, but um, it also depends on, you know, if you are a very petite person and you put on a, a, a big, like a big hoop earring, that's really out of proportion for your body. The same thing with me, because I am five foot nine and I've got dark hair and it's not super short. If I wear a tiny little stud, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not a, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't offend, but it also doesn't show up. So I go for, um, if this is a little trick, if you think about the size of your features on your face, like the size of your eyes, and sometimes it's interesting to take it a step further and go with the shape of your eyes. So this earring is kind of like an S-curve earring. If you turn it on its side, it's like an oval, which is sort of the same shape of my eyes. So. These little things are the things that I can teach you if we work one-on-one, -on -one, what the brain of the person who is looking at you is, when things connect together, the brain of the person feels very calm and is not distracted. So anyway, a nice, very polished gold earring, not too big. Um, business meeting? That's a tough one, isn't it? <laughs> so it depends. For me, for my height, for my coloring, yes. This is my conservative look. This is my nice conservative look. But for other people, it might feel super dressy or just super, you know, just too big, distracting. And in that case, this is a very simple gold. Um, I like loops as well as hoops because I think that it's an interesting, um, you know, alternative to your basic gold hoop. And it is, there is no one that would be offended by this earring. All it will do when I put it in my ear is it would add um, a little brightness. You know, when you put the right color metal up near your skin, 
it, 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 it makes you glow. It really does. It's a cool <laughs> thing. So a nice conservative, small gold oval hoop or um, a pearl stud is nice. A big old diamond stud, even if it's a faux diamond stud. I wouldn't do a big, big, huge one necessarily in a business meeting. That's distracting. They're looking going, did you see that earring? I wonder how many carrots that is. Is that real? All of those things. They're not listening to what you have to say. So if you do just like a pearl stud, that's always a lovely um, sort of soothing stone. And if you do just a gold, small gold loop, that is a nice, acceptable thing to do for a business meeting. If you have coloring, if you're like an ice princess blonde, like a, Nor like a Norwegian type blonde, like a white blonde, um, and you're a true summer in coloring, or you're a winter where you have jet black hair, sterling silver, really high sheen, nice and shiny, looks so dramatic and fabulous against your skin. The only time with my coloring that I can wear silver next to my face is when I have a tan. Otherwise, it brings out the gray, um, the gray tones under my eyes. But anyway, depending on the, the jewelry that you like to wear, a nice hoop, is perfect for business meetings. Think about the size of your eyes when you pick the size of the jewelry. Do not go any much bigger when you are planning for a meeting. When you're going out for having fun on these Zoom calls, just like in real life, sky's the limit. If you want an earring down to here, go for it. Because there's not much else you can do to show your style, but do your earrings. So show me what earrings you've come up with, Evie. Well, I'm wearing these gold hoops. These are just fun. Great Small, size for you. Basic gold hoops. And when you were talking about offensive earlier, this is off topic. But when I interned at Versace and I had, <laughs> we shipped all my clothes in these little boxes. Oh and when God. I took, I went to that post office. It was on like 34th Street. I walked up all the stairs, had all these boxes. And the postman was like, ma'am, these boxes are offensive. And we, they will, these will not be shipped. <laughs> like, they must be shipped. There's no way. Oh, my clothes. I cannot believe. I've never heard anyone saying they were offended over a box. But <laughs> thank goodness. They did. We figured he ended it. up. Yeah. He, he took them. He the, let them go. <laughs> the thing that I like about these earrings for you, um, Bonner Jewelry, is that uh, a lot of earrings get lost on Delia because oh, yeah. of hair. her long hair. And she doesn't, you know, pull her hair back like this. So sometimes I'm like, what earring are you wearing? I can't even really tell. But this is a small earring, but it is a, uh, why don't you take one off and hold it up to the camera? Because it's a thick, a thick hoop, you know, mm -hmm. instead of a little tiny, super dainty thing. So it will show up through your hair, but it's not huge. And we'll, we can just do like B-roll of these things. But that's a great, that's a great, just a go-to workhorse kind of yeah earring and then so these are fun little crochet cherries and this is this blue color for the style that binds us so yes. this would be fun for a happy hour or a date or any sort of zoom party or celebration but not for work no and then these are perfect for summertime. These are fun little crystal color earrings. So that is the same scenario as the blue. Not for work. Not for work. And then these are little hoops, silver hoops with pearls. And they would work for work. That's exactly right. They would work for anything. Yeah. You know. So, um... And then if you want to take it down to necklaces, if you really want to, you know, depending on what you're wearing, you don't even have to worry about the necklace. If you're pressed for time, just make sure what you're wearing up here is pressed, clean, um, flattering, and then concentrate on the earring and, and then go on to your event. But um, if, if you have a little more time, then you can add like, this has a nice little layered look going on here it's like a little choker and then down below is a is another piece and she could even add another necklace but it depends on how close you are to the camera a lot of times in zoom calls you're not as far away as we are so if it's really you know really close then necklaces don't you know don't matter anyway yeah but um 
but also another, you know, very, uh, you can do a string of pearls, little pearl earrings, something like that, if you, if you are going to something like, you know, something. More somber? Yeah. Like, more somber or, or church, or, you know, whatever it is. Right, 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 right. Okay, well, we hope that this helped you out. Um, think about it before you put it on, because what I would recommend is put yourself in that person's shoes. Actually, take a selfie. This is what I recommend anyway for lighting. Once you get your background set up and, and you're ready for your call, if you take a selfie, then you can look and see if there's shadows on your face, if there's light on one side and dark on the other side, whatever it is, even if you have to put a lamp like somehow behind your laptop, somehow that brings light in, whatever you have to do, lighting, or you can order a, what did she call that? Yeah, we'll put a link in the description. Sandy Linter was talking about a beauty light that, that you can use and all the things that mom talked about in the video, we'll put links to her IGTV video and our The South of Bides a Show video so you can get all the the access and you can and even take a like a can you do a selfie video turn it around and video yourself yeah I mean it's like while you're talking and moving you can see how you know yeah. if it's gonna if it's gonna be a good look for you or not so just be prepared and then you know make the best of this new world we're living in and we hope these tips help Yes, so thank you so much for tuning into the South of Bites YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.